Really? <laughs> uh, fantastic. Yes, I, I'll, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Well, I, I... Mm. <laughs> but an hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, including commercials. <laughs> All right. All right, well, I'll, uh, I'll see you then, then. Yeah, yeah, I'll get the first light. Absolutely. How about that? I've just been elected the president of Iran. <laughs> This is a shock coming on Friday's news that I was the king of late night television. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Hmm, President of Iran, king of late night television. <laughs> I know, I wish I could just go back to when life was simple. Just me and my penguin buddies. <laughs> Me and just a couple of penguins I knew, maybe just hanging out, playing guitars. <laughs> maybe going to a dance club. <laughs> penguins are great dancers, you know. <laughs> They're not really. I don't know if penguins dance or not. Do you know that the, uh, the male of the penguin takes care of the eggs and the lady penguin shops? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it. Don't send me the emails. It's only a joke. <laughs> is my collar funny tonight or is it just bad lighting? Oh, it's just bad lighting. <laughs> Am I funny tonight or is it just bad lighting? Oh, it's just bad lighting. Doesn't matter. I'm, I'm the king of late night and the president of Iran. I don't know what to do next. I'm like, I'm like the United Nations of TV. <laughs> I don't know what to do next. I think I'd like to be the Queen of West Hollywood. <laughs> but you can't be the Queen of West Hollywood. You can only be a Queen of West Hollywood. Uh, hang on a second, the phone's uh, flashing. All right, thanks. Apparently there's commercials coming. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. the audience machine, please. We don't do ooh here. I'm European. There's no ooing for Europeans. This is how Europeans go ooh, they go ooh. I mean, I'm American now, I'm an American citizen, so I can go ooh, but... I know, but... Although I go, woo, I also go, ooh. <laughs> it's kind of like I'm bi-curious or something. for America, everybody. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Well, it's a great day. It's a great day. It's a great day for most of America, but not in Chicago. Chicago is it's very cold. They're having the coldest June on record in Chicago. It is so cold in Chicago that Dr. Phil is kissing Oprah's ass just to stay warm. <laughs> just to get... I'd do it too. I can't. 
People in Chicago are asking, how, how long will this cold weather continue? And experts say the weather will change whenever Oprah tells it to. And until that point, <laughs> wear a hat. <laughs> hey, d d d what? I tell you what I'm going like that for. There's zookeepers. I, I always pay attention. I go into this uh, website, what zookeepers are saying, dot com. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to do your joke now, the zookeeper joke, all right? All right, I'm going to do it. Anyway, zookeepers say that the two gay German penguins have adopted a baby penguin. <laughs> I'm shocked by this. I think I speak for us all when I think like, penguins can be German? I didn't know they could be... You can get German penguins? Who thought that? Oh, yes, you can... Yes, we're German. <laughs> Is this a gay German penguin? What's a gay German penguin? Oh, yeah, hi, how's you doing, yes? Oh, let's adopt, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. I love you in black and white. Anyway, all right, we'll get to the big story. The big story, I'm sure you've seen it on the news. There's thousands of rioters. They're running amok. They're burning the cars. They're getting tear gassed by the police. That's right, the, the Lakers won another NBA championship. Yeah. It, was, it got very rowdy, uh, very rowdy last night. The fans were so rowdy after the game, they tipped over Jack Nicholson. <laughs> <laughs> People were dancing around him. Ah! Well, well, only once. You dance around Jack once and you're like... <sighs> Anyway, it was an LA riot, so people were throwing rocks and firecrackers and flaming bottles of Botox at each other. <laughs> you look fabulous! The fires are out now, everything's returned to normal. As you can see, the city of LA is quiet <laughs> this evening. In fact, there's only about 14 people with their lights on. But on the other side of the world, there are other riots. Crowds are flooding the streets of Tehran rioting for something a little bit more important than the Lakers, something called democracy. Yes, we have it in America, woo -hoo. <laughs> And, yes, no, it's true. Yes, we've got democracy. All right, that's enough. Anyway, mo most of the people are rioting for democracy in, in Tehran. They've also got Lakers fans there as well, I'm sure. <laughs> Woohoo! Kobe is number one! <laughs> you can suck it, LeBron! Oh, yeah! <laughs> anyway, if you haven't been following the story, here's what it is. Last week, Iran had a presidential election, and uh, President uh, Ahmadinejad is, was way back. <laughs> uh, he's behind in the polls. He's the guy. He's the guy who said there were no gay people in Iran. <laughs> really? Oh, gay penguins. Are you any gay penguins? <laughs> Do you know Iran's most popular sport is male freestyle wrestling, where you, uh, where one man pins another man to a rubber mat? <laughs> I'm just thinking I'm a dinner jacket might have been a little out of touch, is what I'm saying. Anyway. <laughs> lo and behold, he was very behind in the polls, and then lo and behold, which is a way of saying, then... <laughs> lo and behold, he won big! Everywhere, and the big cities and rural areas. He even won in Florida, which is impossible. <laughs> and millions of Iranians think his come from behind victory was. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, uh, <laughs> shut up, shut up. Shut up, shut up. Millions of. <laughs> lo and behold, lo and behold, millions of Iranians think his uh, victory. His unexpected victory uh, was, uh, was rigged. Uh, and why do they think that? Well, the, the officials at the election ministry have cell phone videos of, of the ballot boxes being stuffed. That would be proof, in fact. <laughs> um, and the, the election returns themselves are kind of hard to believe. According to the numbers, uh, both opposition candidates lost to Ahmadinejad in their own hometowns. <laughs> that's, like, that's like Barack Obama losing in the city of Chicago. Now, <laughs> I'm not in any way suggesting that Iranian politics is as corrupt as Chicago, but even, <laughs> even, even Blagojevich is like, oh, these guys are good, they're very good. <laughs> but what happened is that the young people in Iran could smell a rat, so they did what young people everywhere do these days, they got on the Twitter. They're on the Twitter. 
<laughs> and they're organising ma massive protests on the Twitter. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how Twitter works. I've said this before. I don't care. It's not for me. I'm a geezer. <laughs> It's not for... I'm like, hey, kids, look at me! <laughs> but technology that spreads information quickly is always good news for democracy. Our own American Revolution wouldn't have happened without the printing presses. That was the Twitter of its day. <laughs> they made the revolution, made up the pamphlets. Aren't the British people bastards? They were giving them all out. Look at that! <laughs> it would have been a lot easier for Paul Revere if he had Twitter. He wouldn't need a horse, just a phone. <laughs> I'm like... The British are coming! The British are coming! OMG! <laughs> OMG! The British are coming! Angry emoticon! Ben. Anyway, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, hats off to you young Iranians for standing up for what you believe in, because only youth can, can do that. You know, Twitter and revolution, that's a young person's game. When you're young, you, can, you think a well-placed riot can change the world. You get to my age, you're like, you just want the riot off your lawn. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Dreams of freedom and bugger off. Come on. <laughs> All right, we got to take a break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Everybody dance now. <laughs> <laughs> You look fabulous. <laughs> yes, that's right. I'm German. <laughs> I'm here. I'm German. Get used to it, okay? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so anyway, I am from Rotterdam. <laughs> hey, Rotterdam. Wait, wait, wait. No, you knew it was me. Uh, <laughs> Rotterdam's not in Germany, it's in Holland, isn't it? <laughs> I'm so ashamed. <laughs> well, uh, uh, you probably... Oh, please. Hey, hey. There's no round of applause in walking from one area to another area. <laughs> this is not a regular late-night show. It's not like, and now I'm going over here. Whoa, oh, hooray! <laughs> With music and everything, and you know, real gay penguins, that would be a show. <sighs> <laughs> I'm still thinking about the, uh, the demonstrations in Iran with the Twitter. I think that's an amazing thing, you know. It's either, because I think that the, the social networking, uh, it's a growing political force. It can really, you can really do something with this. I mean, last week, uh, Time magazine had the headline, you know, how Twitter will change the way we live. And I'm like, oh, <gasps> freaked out. And then it turned the, I opened it up. I was like, not you, Craig Ferguson, you're a geezer. <laughs> And then I'm thinking, it might not, because, you know, I, forgive me for sounding sceptical, but I've heard this before. You know, you remember uh, that MySpace was going to change the people? Remember, remember MySpace? No, neither do I. And then <laughs> there was the MySpace and the Facebook, and before that there was the, uh, the, um, the CB radio will change the way we live. <laughs> There's a big gap in between, I don't remember it. Right? <laughs> I go, breaker, breaker. <laughs> I suppose whiskey changed the way I lived. I lived in a house, then I lived in a dumpster. Yeah. I can't believe there's gay German penguins. I, I, you know what? I, that, to me, is proof that the universe is unfolding in marvellous, wonderful and unexpected ways. I mean, who amongst us would have thought, wow, I, I bet you there's gay German penguins out there. <laughs> You'd be like, don't be, you are smoking too much, you would have said. You, you've had too much in the way of a herbal cigarette. And I'm like, no, maybe there are one day people will, there will be gay German penguins. <laughs> and here we are, the day has arrived. The big news is in. There are penguins who are German and gay. But if they come to California, they can't get married. 
I don't know what that means, but I'm just saying. Now, California's got a big, uh, big thing about not allowing penguins to get married. <laughs> they can live together, penguins. You know, they can, uh, they can have their little clubs and areas of town, but they can't, you know... <laughs> they can't waddle down the aisle like the rest of us. Personally, I think, you know what? Come on, live and let live. They're gay, they're German, they're penguins. What the hell? It's America, right? Not America. I thought it was America. That's why I came here. <laughs> we'll be right back with the emails, everybody. amount of emails we've got tonight. Look, people all over America are not sending them in. There must be, there must be upwards of eight. <laughs> we'll try and get through them all. I can't promise you anything. I can't promise you anything. There's eight or so. I didn't count them. All right, we'll try and get through them. Do we have time for an email? Yes, we do. <laughs> Um, this is from Onita in uh, Ozark in uh, Mo, Montano, Missouri. Ozark in M Montano. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Questions I'm glad they didn't ask on the citizenship application. Um, in Oz I thought Ozark was in Arkansas. There's more than one Ozark. <laughs> the hell was that? I liked it. I liked it. All right, all right. Onita and Ozark in Montana. That must be a pretty small town, Ozark in Montana. I mean, Missouri. Yeah. Uh, Onita says, Dear Craig, how do you tell your best friend that you are a lesbian? <laughs> well, if it's as small a town as I think it is, I think you just did. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I've never had to tell anyone I'm a lesbian. <laughs> well, that's not entirely true. Um, I think the thing to do is just say uh, you, you're going through a Lindsay Lohan period. <laughs> um, this is from Cass in Spokane in Washington. That's the state of Washington, not Washington, D.C., because that's the District of Columbia. That's not a state, and that did come up in the citizenship test. <laughs> Dear Craig, have you ever noticed that moons on other planets have cool names like Europa or Callisto, but we just call ours the moon? <laughs> what was your point? We also gave out the names to the things on the other planets as well. I mean, we called the other moons on the other planets the names that they have. Um, it wasn't like aliens said, oh, uh, look, oh, I've got a call, hold on. Yeah, it's from the Venusians. Yeah, their moon is called, let me get that again. Oh, Callisto, nice, very cool name for a moon. <laughs> also, we've got, well, we call ours the moon because that's what it is. I don't know, shut up. <laughs> um, this is from Allison in Cary in North Carolina. One of my favorite Carolinas. <laughs> Allison says, Dear Craig, who's that poor, sad little man in the leather shorts that's been on the show lately? <laughs> Is he an intern? I was thinking about applying, but now I'm not so sure. <laughs> See you, Ryan. See you. No? Yeah, no, he's, uh, he's not here right now. He's out. Uh, what's he doing? He's out. He's, uh, uh, he's, uh, he's out getting something for me. <laughs> oh, it's all right. I'll be back in a minute. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> oh, I got my own shot in the camera. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh, that, that little man's name is, uh, he's not that little actually, he's enormous, uh, but we have very bad lighting. Um, 
<laughs> his name, his name's Chris, and uh, he's he's not an intern. Actually, he's a f highly paid member of the uh, production department. <laughs> And he gets extra money when he wears the leather shorts. <laughs> but then again, who amongst us doesn't get extra money <laughs> when we wear the leather shorts? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is from Nicole in Decatur in Georgia. There's a Decatur in Georgia? Uh, she says, Dear Craig, have you read all the Harry Potter books? Which one is your favorite? Oh, you mistake me for a douche. I am. <laughs> I'm kidding, I love Harry Potter. He's the greatest thing. Oh yeah, magic. Uh, Come on, young people, please watch me. <laughs> please watch me, young people. I'm just like you. I wear my hat backwards. Oh, you bet I do. <laughs> I'm going to get a brow lift. Then I'll appeal to you. <laughs> Hi, young people. Hey. <laughs> hey, important demographic. Hey, you never see that thing when they talk about demographics in television. And this is the whole theory behind it, that if you, if you uh, buy a product, uh, when you're 18 or 19 years old, you'll stick with that product your whole life. And I'm like, are you crazy? I was buying cocaine when I was 19. <laughs> I'm not buying it anymore. <laughs> also, on a slightly less dramatic note, I used to drink one type of uh, flavorful beverage uh, 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 when I was about 18 or 19. And, on another, and now I drink a different type of flavorful beverage completely. <laughs> I can't say which type it is, obviously, because, you know, that would be advertising, but it's Fresca. <laughs> Damn, it's good. Um, that's not Fresca. I, uh, I drink Fresca in my own time. <laughs> Don't drink Fresca. Well, I better shut up. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> So we got the, uh, uh, we don't have any more time? I don't give a rat's ass. Um, <laughs> this is uh, from David in Janesville in Wisconsin. David says, Craig, who was the coolest person you ever got high with? <laughs> Me. <laughs> I've given up the last shard of dignity. <laughs> a long time ago, actually. My first guest tonight is a big, giant star. Uh, the, the Saving Grace third season premieres tomorrow night, and she's in it. <laughs> wait, no, no, wait, no, no, no. Either spontaneous or not at all. <laughs> Look, if you don't like her, that's fine. She'll win you over. <laughs> oh, shut up. I'm coming. <laughs> And look, the clip, it's on TNT, coming soon. Look at this, look. Snap his wife wants you and me to be in this autogard. No. No. No, thank you. You can't say no. Yes, I can. This was Snapper's request. Yeah, if I don't screw you from my grave, he didn't like me. I didn't like him. Why are we going to be his honor? Why are you going to be his honor? You guys didn't like each other either. He was a fellow cop. That's why I'm going to his funeral. For this junior and Snapper's wife, I'm out of it. Would you be in this autogard? Probably. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Holly Hunter, everybody. Holly. Wow, look at that. Hello, sweetheart. Holly, how are you? Holly, you guys are hot tonight. I mean, the combination of you guys and you is I... pretty incredible. Ooh! I mean, it's pretty incredible. Yeah. I mean, this could be the best audience you've ever had. It I mean, is the best audience I've ever had. I'm not kidding. Yeah, well, uh, are you trying to win them over? Did you sense that? I was... <laughs> because, uh, no, no, they love you. Yeah. Look, oh, shit. <laughs> no, I'm so 
A lot of these people are German, too. <laughs> did you hear that about German penguins being gay? I didn't know that. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah no, no, I did know that. Oh, you did? Oh. Huh? Do you follow animal life closely? <laughs> Not really, so much. <laughs> And this is yeah. kind of, I mean, you've been getting away with this since March? Yeah, yeah, I've had that for a while, yeah. And you know what? Don't touch it. And, <laughs> but it's oddly cold. Yeah. I was thinking it was going to be warm. I thought it was going to be, you know, English breakfast. Oh, no. You know, I thought you'd Would you like a, a little English breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> I, wait, you don't even know what I mean by that. I mean... Tea, right? You mean tea, right? I knew what you meant. Yeah, yeah. No, no, hey, if I meant tea? that, I would have said Scottish breakfast. Uh, what? I got my tea. Yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That Is that tea, really? Like hot you... tea because it's so cold in here. No. I mean, it's... I know you guys are warmed up. And you've been dancing. Well, they've been dancing and we've all had been having a lovely time. We were talking about the Tweety, the Twitter, the, you know, that thing. Yes. Do you do that? Do you know yeah, how to I do that? No, 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 no. Really? No, no, no. Do you have a computer? Have you ever heard I do, of it? I do, yeah, right, I do. Okay, right, good. I mean, I actually did meet somebody the other day that d doesn't have a computer, which, I don't know, I, I, that's been a while since I've met somebody who didn't have a computer. What was that, Hobart? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was on the back of a train. Yeah. Um, have you been riding the trains again? Have you? <laughs> <laughs> God, you know, since 2001. Yeah. You kind of can't do that. What? You know, the guys, they can't, like, ride the trains anymore, the hobos, you, you know, the, Really? The you can't do that on the trains No, no, anymore? you can't do that anymore. Oh. I that's... mean, you know, the security, I mean, it kind of wiped out an entire culture of people. <laughs> well, what, what do they do now, then, if they can't well, ride the trains? They just drink, amble? You know, drink. I mean, I don't know, but, you know, there was something kind of romantic about those guys who would get on a train, you know, just catch a train in St. Louis or something and ride across the country. Yeah. You know. Do you, do Didn't you... you think so? Or well, did you not have, did, did you, do they have that in Scotland? What, people did who you have that kind of culture? It's, you can get across the entire country in half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you, you guys know, You have... don't need, oh, let's ride the train. Well, we're here. That's, uh... <laughs> it's not necessary. Yeah, sorry. I didn't mean to be insulting. No, no, it's, uh, it's, uh, I think I was, uh, no, it doesn't matter. No, it's fine. <laughs> but, well, how do you travel then if you can't ride the trains anymore? <laughs> Do, uh, you know, you, do, you, do, you, do you fly in the airplanes? Have you heard? You know, the, the, of course I do. Yeah, yeah, you well, like them? Tell like me that guy, you know, that guy, you know, landed in the middle of the hut. And, uh, yeah. That was pretty extraordinary. You know he was on that plane? <laughs> really? No, no, I made that up. But, we're not... <laughs> but that would be a great story. You're looking at my, what's going wrong? You're just no, looking no, right no, here. No, nothing. My... I, was, I was looking at your tie. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, no, no. Do you I pick do. ties for your man? No. Really? He picks no. his own ties? Yeah, of course. Really? He doesn't wear ties. Oh. Yeah. Oh, he's one of those guys, yeah. You know what? He's really cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet he's on the Twitter all the time. Yeah. So, so Twittering. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> OMG, wear a tie. Oh, no. You sure you don't do it then? You don't do the Tweety and the Twitter? No, and, and you seriously do not. I can't. I don't even know what it is. I, but I, 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 really am, I'm, I'm, I really feel quite strongly it's not for me. I think I should write with a big feathery pen. That's, uh, <laughs> that's really where I'm headed, I think. Yeah, but like Twitter's headed this whole other way from you. Well, I, don't I mean, understand. you guys are like that. Well, it's, it's a, like you, all of your thoughts in 140 characters of le or less. I, yeah, right? I don't get that. Well, I, sometimes I, I I'm not trying to it. set myself up as Mr. I mean, Brainy, but <laughs> sometimes I have thoughts that need more than 140 characters. You know? I'll say. Yeah. I mean, you got a whole book. I do. I, I mean, you got a I, book I wrote, coming I, out, I, I, and I you know, nobody tells you you can't. It can't be. It, you know, you can't be as. It, it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always do when I run out of material. Grab a puppet. Isn't that adorable? So cute. Do you, do you like? Uh, cute, uh, do you have cute toys lying around your house? Well, I, I do. Do you really? But not for me. But we won't talk about that. No, we will talk about that. <laughs> what toys are we talking about? Are we talking about... <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, no! Hey, don't, oh. you have some guy, don't you have a guy who dresses up and comes out? Yeah, yeah, but he's... <laughs> you, you want him, too? <laughs> Are we talking about a personal massager here? You know that... <laughs> thing. 
No, we're not. <laughs> you know, have you have you gone? Have you ever have you ever had a a a, a plata by a big Russian guy? <laughs> I, I want one. I want one. <laughs> what, what's what's uh, that? An o oak, oak, an oak branch. Yeah. Oak leaves. Yeah. Soaked in like soap. A bucket full of soapy water. Yeah. And you know you're in this, you're in this hot room. <laughs> big Russian guy. Yeah. Big, big, big guy. Yeah. What's his name? What's his name? Broken. No English. Oh, uh, great, great. Yeah, uh, yeah. No names. Just, just nice teeth. <laughs> Vladimir. Vladimir, right, okay. And he, like, you know, does a number on you. <laughs> Have you never done this? I've been to a car wash. It sounds, it sounds a bit like a car wash. Is it, is it like a car wash? Hey, it, can you, can you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, go on, what? No, I mean, can you still go in car, do they still have car washes like that? Oh, yeah, but the hobos are all in them now. <laughs> there. They, they wander through. Let's travel across the country, getting clean. It's the romance of the old days. They go from car wash to car wash. I went too far, didn't I? I went too, I went too far there. I'm like this. Yeah, I know. Mm. I like your... Uh, well, I like your dress. Thanks. It's it nice. matches your eyes a little bit. Well, uh, well, I mean, really? right now your eyes look kind of green. Really? Yeah. My eyes green? I thought they were blue. Well, but they look a little... They, I think they look green. They're they green You guys don't know. You're like, hi. Well, you can't tell in the studio. <laughs> they, they can't tell in the studio. We, we have this... No, you have blue well, eyes. Well, yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah. I, we do have blue eyes. <laughs> we have brown. We have brown eyes. Do so we have else? a split personality? Do we have... <laughs> do we have multiple personalities? <laughs> Like, one of them is a good girl, and one of them has toys. <laughs> Wonder. You say that to all the girls. Every I girl used to. I don't say like, that anymore. Nestles down in this little seat. No, no, no. I don't, I don't. Well, like, you must hear some good lines from guys hitting on you. That, is that one of them? Is that, was that me hitting on I, you? I don't get out anymore. Oh, I, I don't know. Really? You don't? No, no, no. Why not? Nobody's hit, hit me up with a one-liner. I mean, you know, can I see your ID? That's a that's pretty good one-liner. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... What? You're in a bar, somebody, like, cards you? Yeah. I'm oh. always like, wow, thanks very much. <laughs> I must remember that. Well, actually, no, I mustn't remember that. I mustn't remember that. That's the best, one line, that. that's the that. best one line. That's the best pickup line I've, I've had in a while. Well, you, <laughs> do you go to bars a lot then on your own? No, 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 no. But the other girl does it, the bad one? <laughs> Is that what yes. happens? The bad yes. lady does it, and then you have to take her home? <laughs> That's enough. We've got to go. Where oh, we, my oh, God. I'm sorry. We were chatting. I'm sorry. I was talking to someone a little more interesting than you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're out of time. Holy honor, everybody. We'll be right back. This band that are coming up are from Glasgow in Scotland. Remind you of anyone? <laughs> They're making their television debut uh, tonight performing French Navy from their album My Maudlin Career. Please welcome Camera Obscura, everybody. Camera Obscura. <laughs>
I am what I am, and what I am is no illusion. It doesn't work, does it? I thought it might, but it didn't. So, I guess what I learned on the show is that, um... I learned that the studio is haunted. Haunted by the ghost of a gay penguin. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I'm just trying to appeal to young people. Please like me. I'm cool like you. <laughs> Hey, truth is, I'm an old douche, and this is an easy job. All right? That's what we learned. Good night, everybody.